Hi, my name is Daniel. Today I'm going to show you how to install and configure Zero Downtime Migration. The SetDM host doesn't really do anything during the migration. It only acts as a coordinator while all the database hosts are doing all the heavy lifting. Hence, you can use a really small computer. In my video, I'm using the smallest possible compute safe available in OCI. Let's get started. While locked on as root, I'll install the required packages. I am creating a dedicated user that I can use for all the ZDM operations. To enable my dedicated user to log on via SSH, I'm copying the contents of the .ssh folder. A directory to hold the ZDM software. ZDM must be able to resolve the names of the source and target database hosts. For simplicity, I'm using the hosts file, but you could use DNS as well. Now I'm done as root. For the remainder of this video, I'll use a dedicated user I created. It's called ZDM user. Oh, and by the way, in the end of this video, I'll post a link to my blog. It has all the commands that I use and much more details. Now let's move on. I'm editing my profile to set environment variables. All of them point to directory path. This will make it easier to reference the directories afterwards. And then I'll create the directories. Now download the ZDM software from oracle.com, go to ZDM. It comes as a zip file, so just upload it to the ZDM service host and unzip. Okay, I did that already. Now I can use ZDM install to start the installation. Note, I'm using the environment variables that I defined earlier. A few warnings are reported during installation. You can safely ignore those. Voila, installation completed. Now I can start the ZDM service. Now it's up and running. Optionally, I can use the status command to double check. The last thing I have to do is to verify SSH connectivity to the source and target database hosts. Port 22 must be open to those servers and there are some requirements to the name and format of the key files. I'm in my .ssh folder. As you can see, I have two key files. SRC host is the name of my source database host and TGT host is the name of my target database host. The name of the files much match the names of the database host. Also, the format of the key files must be RSA PEM. You can verify that from the first line of the key file. It must look like this. I just showed you how to install and configure Zero Downtime Migration. I'll return in another video where I can show you how to do an actual migration to OCI. Until then, happy migrating and thanks for watching.